Hey you guys, it's XGC here, and welcome to episode 58 of my Let's Play. I'm just stealing a bit of energy out of this MFSU, which is still producing very energy very quickly. Um, just to recharge this thing, whoops, not that. This thing over here, let's have a look, yep, he's about halfway there, which, yep, 190, that's the T's for temperature, and that's about right. This guy is um, going well. Steadily producing energy, our uranium cells have plenty of juice left, which is fine. And everything's taking a bit of damage, but everyone's cool. Okay, that's good. And by the way, I move this around so that there's now a redstone or red LOY behind this block and this uh, stone block here, so that when this reaches 500, it'll send a redstone signal, then it'll power this thing. So, yeah, that thing's cool. And I've already made 36 million. No, sorry, my bad. That's 3 million. Yep, 3 million 600,000 and blah blah blah. Energy, that's that's a lot of energy, dude. That's a lot. And it's just sitting there doing nothing at the moment. But I'll let that run. I've got more than enough space. More than, sorry, more than enough space to store the 20 million that will get produced out of all those uh, uranium cells. So I don't need to worry about that. But I'm going to head home. And today, there is something else I want to work on now that that nuclear reactor is under underway and, you know, producing energy. I'm first going to get myself um, two automatic crafting tables. Okay, while that's doing its thing, I'm going to take some nickelite. Yep, it's going to be red power related, you know already. A bunch of this, a bunch of this. And I think, is that the only recipe that uses all three of these components? It may be. Oh, lag. But I've already cleared out a room downstairs. I, I'm going to have a new room just branching off this one. This is going to be kind of my, my logistics and crafting kind of area. Just down here. Alright, so that's the room that I'm going to do this in. But before I do that, even, I'm going to teach this thing two more recipes. So, first one is going to be how to craft a battery. Yep, simple red power battery. That's all. It, what? Why wow, are there so many crafting combinations? Oh, it's all different things. Alright, okay, fair enough. But, simple. Um, just plenty of nickel around this guy. One tin and two copper. Awesome, that's a BT battery. Or blue tris blue trick battery I'm guessing it stands for, something like that. Um, I'm gonna grab myself two of these auto crafting logistics pipes and I'm gonna set the first one down and make sure he uh, oops, keep pressing that. Where's my wrench? Wrench. Oh, it's right there. Oops. Did not see that. And why did I place that one down? Wanted to put down my crafting there we go. Oops. Now import. Yep, that's cool. Everybody's happy. Next step, I'm going to teach the system how to make a battery box. Now the only thing now in the system that it doesn't know how to make is this. And I'm not going to bother teaching the system how to make this. I'll just manually supply it. And I actually forgot to grab one of those, so let me head back upstairs. And it's night out, but that's okay. This house is safe, I'm sure. Head to my red power chest. Oh, look, I have one. How handy. Uh, I better make some more, actually. Seeing as I'm here. Let's grab a stack of nickelite. And remember, you do need silver to make this stuff, so... I'll grab that. And I'll let this thing do its thing. Oh, I've got some red, red alloy ingots going on here. Oh out of redstone. Anyway, moving on, I am going to grab myself. Now I know I only need four for that recipe, but I'm going to grab five. Good. And while that's on its thing, I'm going to steal a bunch of these as well. That's two, that's three, that's four, and that's five. Okay, I'm going to head back downstairs
and over here I'm going to teach this thing how to craft after I get some wood there it is and I don't have iron oh, annoying Now I think I have everything. So it was four batteries just like that. Two so on like that and then so like that. Yep, battery box right there. And it's getting really laggy for some weird reason. Import Whoa. Whoa. Let's get out okay, there we go, cool. So now that that's done, um, that's taken care of, I need to get myself one of those. So let's have a look. Yep, awesome. Request successful, that's good to see. And I am going to put these blue aloe ingots in this chest here. And I'm going to keep this on me. And. I'm going to make what's known as a thermopile and this thing is good for producing energy or low levels of energy underground or when you don't have access to sunlight so I'm going to need blue dot wafer which is just yep that's fine um, I'm going to do that real quick off camera and I'll be right back there we go there's my thermopile and um, just in case you guys don't know how this works or how this works. Um, oh, I've got a bucket of lava right there, perfect. Um, this thing, or this block here, will basically use the difference between the temperatures of two blocks, and that's, um, for, um, in this case, lava and water, and out of that it will produce energy. Oh, I've got a stack of this stuff, awesome. And if that didn't make much sense, I'll show you right now how that works. So, I'm going to set up Oh, I'm going to have to move this stuff out of the way so it doesn't block this doorway. Um, right here, I think, it's a good spot. I'm going to real quick, oh, copper, um, set up an infinite water spring. Oops. And right in this nice place here, I'm going to put down a bucket of lava, and then on top of it, my thermopile. And right now this thing... Oh, oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, I did it again. And... It's... What's going on? There we go. Oh, oh my bad. So you can't right click on this guy. Alright, I don't think you're sh producing energy right now. Yep, nope, nothing coming in at all. So, what I need to do... Um, why, why is water coming out of it? It's weird. But, now that it's got lava underneath there, uh, it's got heat, so it needs something cool. And, that would be water. That makes sense, doesn't it? And, you know what? That's cool, but I want to move this down one. So I'm going to have that there, and the thermal pile will go on top, and on all, oh, oh, that's fine, on all four sides I'll put water. And how this block works, it'll just look at the blocks around it and see if there's a temperature difference in this case between water and lava, and if there is, it'll produce energy, which is cool, exactly what we want. The nice thing about this is I can cover it up nicely relatively and let's just have a look at this I have no idea why water is dripping oh okay that's why water is dripping that's my build craft stuff right up there and I can run this guy out right here into a battery box and now you can see the tiniest amount of energy is being produced by this thing 
just fine. I don't need too much energy for what I'm doing here, so that's all good for me. I'll let that charge, and meanwhile, I'm going to make myself a bunch of project tables. Yep. Um, why? Because I'm going to make a room dedicated to crafting red power components, and especially the uh, logic gates. So, as you can see, there's a bunch of them here. I'm going to choose not all of them, some of them, the more main ones that I'll be using, and then, you know, setting up a project table for each of those. So, let me craft up myself. Oh, and I also will be making um, project tables for, let's see, those, the little pieces that you need as well. Yeah, these ones, this kind of stuff as well. So let me get a bunch of those going and I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, so I'm just making the last of these uh, project tables. I've decided to go with 12 for now. I may very well end up having to make some more in the future. But that's okay, and I'm happy to manually craft these, I don't mind. Um, oh, that's a lot of lag and that's not a crash. Which is good, but it's just massive lag. Okay. So what I'm planning to do here is to quite possibly extend this room that way. Yeah, I might do that with the, my handy destruction catalyst here and the help of my clients, uh, which is sitting in there. Yep, it's definitely low on energy, but um, it's okay, we'll deal with it. So that's one hit. It's three hits. How much energy did that take up? Just uh, out of interest, let's have a look. That was three hits at the first charge level. 600. What? Must have used some of my glowstone. Oh well. Not a big deal. Guess that's a side note though. It will not use um, energy out of your client style while it's in your alchemy bag. And I think I'm right above my mob trap. Yeah. Probably. I know there's more coal behind there, I'm not going to bother. just want to get this room done. And I had this locked for a reason, but now's a good time to unlock it. Let's dump all the stuff on the ground and it will automatically go into my bag. And now to lock it again, because I don't need it. So let's have a look. I'm going to have this side be my basic components. So what I mean by that, it's uh, all these little bits and pieces that I'll need to make the actual logic gates. So I'll have one for stone wire, st stone anode, cathode pointer, red wire. Actually, what are these used for? It's unlikely that I'll be using these cells here plate assembly. Interesting. Because I don't really use these cells much. I just probably need one, two, three, and four. Let's see. Uses for the silicon chip. State cells. And... Is that another crash note synchronizer? Oh, there it goes. I'll be right back. Okay, no idea what happened there without saving chunks of stuff, but I'm alright. Everything's fine. But, back to what I was saying. Um, just going to see, how many of these do I actually need for those basic components? Right here. So I don't need one for that, that's just smelting stone in a furnace. But let's see, one, two, three, four. I'm um, considering whether to put these. I might as well. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, won't do that one. May use the five, six, seven. No, I'll just do six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, perfect. And just to make this place look nice, I'm just gonna leave a gap there. Don't know why there's a hole there. Okay, so they're gonna be the basic components. That's cool. I've got six left to make logic gates, six project tables left. And if I scroll back up, let's see how many of these basic ones I want. 
Let's see, yep, one, two, uh, don't, uh, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, Okay, fourteen. Fifteen. Yeah, I think I want fifteen of these. No idea how these ones work, so I'm not going to bother messing with them for now. I may work out how they work in the future, I guess. But it's unlikely that I'll ever use these anytime soon, so I'm going to stick away from them. So I'm going to quickly go and grab myself another nine more project tables, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I decided that, you know, I'd be working here for a while, so I made another request pipe down here so I could get items from down here, and I'm just going to make myself, let's see, I want one more of these, and I also taught the system how to make a chest just then, up there, and there's my chest, okay, because I decided, whatever, might just, might as well go automate this. There we go, project table. And I'm going to put this crafting pipe there. Import. Cool. So now I'm just going to grab those nine that I were waiting for. And if I can find it, that would be very helpful. I can never find stuff. There it is. Nine. Good. And I think I'm kind of low on wood, so I've got to s fix that problem soon. And look at that. Oh, that's going to take a while, all that wood flowing through. Hopefully I have enough stone, or is it... Nah, it's cooking up the stone as well. So let's see, I needed 15, three more. Two, one. There we go, awesome. Can't jump through there. So let's see, I don't even know if I have enough space, but actually, you know what, that doesn't matter. I can have... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Let's have... 9... Let's have some across the top like that, that would be pretty cool, I reckon. And one last one. Hmm. Well, I like the look of that, so... How about I just leave it like that, and forget about one of them. Yeah. Noisy down here, I know. Sorry about that, guys. But, that's how this is going to work. And the reason I've left this little battery box here is because I'm going to have two alloy furnaces down here. Just to, you know, in case I need to do some stuff. And handy. I have a furnace right here so I can start making a bunch of this stuff. And I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, for a while, actually I'm going to go down here and grab myself four chests. And that won't take too long, I'm pretty sure. Yep. And what I'm going to do is have storage space and oh this wall is too thick perfect actually not one more across Oops. one two double chests I oh, know that top one's not going to open I'll fix that and I may put a cover to cover that up later on. But right now I've got storage, everything's cool. I'm going to fill these project tables up with um, recipes and I'll be right back. Is it just me or is this not a hundred million? Is that ten million? Yeah. Looks like I won't have enough space. I thought it was a hundred. I must have miscounted and not bothered to count again. Okay, so... That's enough energy for now, I'm going to shut it off. Yep, that's fine. And this guy's out of power. This thing drains power really quickly, by the way, too. So I've got to 
come up with some way of hooking up to a better source of power. And yeah, this car will just stop there. They're about a third of the way done. So, yep, that's cool. Uh, the reason I came here was because I just wanted to close that portal there and ride back. There we go. And of course this awesome rail system. And yep, that's pretty much the only reason I went back to check on my nuclear reactor. And lucky I did, because if not, that energy would have gone to waste if I didn't discover that, that it only held 10 million, not 100. So I'm going to craft up some components for my red power room downstairs, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm down here, and I've actually made two thermopiles. I've made one more, and the lava source is in between them, so they can share that, and hooked it up to the battery box, so that's cool. I've done that off camera. And I just realized that I actually made furnaces instead of alloy furnaces, which was what I actually wanted. And I'm sure some of you must have been wondering why I needed furnaces. So that was my mistake. Sorry about that. But I'm now going to craft myself two alloy furnaces, which is what I actually need in here. Here we go. Alloy. That's what I want. Yep. And whoa. Why has it gone straight down? Something's gone into that. Yep. I'll let it do its thing. Basically, the machines in Red Power will always try and balance out the, or distribute the power available in the whole system. So I'm guessing they're doing something like that. Trying to make sure everyone gets an even amount. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. <laughs> yep. But yeah, I'll let the thermopiles do its thing. Hopefully, I'll get some more energy soon. Over time, over time. And if it's out of energy, I can just go up and use these ones here anyway. But I'm going to quickly go to sleep. And I want to make a sheep farm. Why? Because, um, for red power, for all the cabling and fancy stuff that I do want to do later on, it's going to require lots of wool and different colors of wool. So that's why I'm going to make a sheep farm. But before I do that, um, I've got to teach my transmit oh not my transmutation table, my crafting system. Wait, did I already do that? Nope. My crafting system, three new recipes. And of course, this sheep farm will be automatic. I'm not going to stay around and babysit my sheep. That would be so boring. Why aren't the crafting tables coming? What's going on? Hmm. Let's try again. Quest. Quest successful. That's weird. What's happening? Did these teleport pipes get messed up or something? Nope, that one's fine, that one's fine. And connected too. Chests, this one's crafting. Why are they two connected to that? Let me double check. Something weird's going on with my pipes. This one should be to chests. This one's bog earth. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Where's the other teleport pipe then? Crafting. Crafting downstairs should be chests. Why are they two connected? That should bog earth supply. 
And that should be the one that's outside. Right? This is really weird. Oh no. Okay, let's go check out what's going on. Yeah, something weird's going on. Oh. I hate that. Some of these teleport pipes just decide to disappear. Let's see. Need one of those. Okay, there we go. Wait, why is connected two? Is it meant to be two? Hope so. Uh, let me be right back. I'll sort out everything. Okay, so I am back and I just restarted Minecraft and everything fixed itself. Um, I think those teleport pipes are just glitching out or something. But, now, finally, after wasting so much time, I'm going to craft myself three automatic crafting tables. And, now it works. Alright, and, do I have my basic logistics pipes down here? I don't think so. Um, I'm going to chuck these furnaces away. I don't need them anymore. Why do I have personal safe? I must have accidentally clicked them when I was uh, messing with my NEI. Let's recycle those, pretend they never existed. Um, okay, there I'm at. My logistics pipes are there. Okay, and I've got some glowstone. I'm gonna. Oops. I am going to make three crafting pipes and I'm going to plonk these crafting tables down up here two and three okay the first thing I'm going to make oops is going to be a red power machine actually they're all going to be red power machines first one will be a deployer. And yep, good, my system knows how to make all those things. So I'll just grab myself maybe a piston and a chest. Where's the chest? There it is. And the piston is there. Awesome, I've got some cobble on me, I think. Yep, and redstone, so that's all good. First one, deployer. There we go. Nope, like that. How was it? Come on, can't be that hard. Piston in the middle, okay. There we go, deployer. So what, what was that one? That one there? Okay, and the next one is going to be block breaker, which is like this. Oh, I'm going to have to deal with that iron pickaxe. And then I'm going to make a transposer. So let me do that quickly off camera because it's basic stuff and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've uh, gone ahead and put that recipe in there and that. Um, the deploy is behind there. And I've put the block breaker one over here because it needs to use this chest right here and the satellite pipe because iron pickaxes cannot stack so that's why and you may notice I have two more crafting tables in here that's because I'm getting just a little sick of crafting um logistics pipes all the time so I'm going to teach it how to make redstone torches first of all and see, import, 
and then finally how to make a logistics pipe but I'm not going to teach you how to make diamond pipes I'll control that manually because I don't want me accidentally chewing all my, all my diamonds by making a bunch of logistics pipes although I'll probably end up using them but you know anyway so I need that that a diamond pipe and four glass was it where's my diamond pipe I do have about seven upstairs I know that there we go I just need one There we go. Just six pipes. Awesome. Nice. Okay, so now that all said, oh, by the way, I moved this request pipe over there. I guess I could leave it here, but, you know, oh well. Cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did not want to come down. But now I'm going to go see how many colors of wool there are. And I'm going to grab some materials ready. And I probably won't be able to get to crafting or making the actual uh, the actual farm this episode. But let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So there's sixteen colours. Right? Yep. Say indigo. Not indo, indigo. Yes there is. I wonder why there isn't indigo dye stuff. Hmm. Well, does indigo make purple? No. Whoa. Have a look. Magenta dye, yep. Yeah. I don't know. How do you make purple dye? Yeah, I don't, I've no idea what indigo is used for right now. But, I don't know. It's nice. I'm gonna request myself 16 deployers. Because for all the 16 colors, and wait, is that the one I want? Yeah, deployers. Oh, missing wood, not good. And transposers, can I get 16 of those? 17 wood, okay, so I'm low on wood. Well, I guess I'll end this episode here. Um, yeah, I'll have to grab a bit more wood. Oh, am I so low on wood? Okay, maybe I am. Yeah, so I'll go grab myself some more wood, and next episode I'll be back and ready to start making that wool farm or sheep farm of mine. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and see you guys next time.